Hey, what's good? Ugh, okay. Alright, we're finally getting around to the, uh, the Minecraft 3D presentation. God, I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> Sorry I didn't do this earlier, like, when it was live. I would've, but, like, it was pretty long and they started at 10.30. Because they started a little bit earlier, I might've. Like, if it was started at, like, 10, like, uh, the announcement was, I probably would've done it. Okay, uh... I'll preface this, I have not seen anything about, like, Steve himself, how he works, but I did see, I did see one thing, I did see one thing, I did see, uh, <laughs> uh, one of the me costumes, oh my god, <laughs> they did my dude so poor, so, uh, that's something to keep in mind going into this, but everything else is blind, yeah, see, right here, <laughs> Travis Touchdown is a damn me costume, that's actually crazy, they really did my boy like that, they really did my boy like that. I mean, I guess it doesn't really mean that he's like an indie character, but it makes sense. Like, he's kind of not as big as people make him out to be, which is true. I mean, if it's between Minecraft Steve and Travis Touchdown, I'd pick Travis Touchdown myself, but I fully acknowledge that Steve is a bigger character, you know? <laughs> Look at Sakurai with the, 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 <laughs> the diamond sword. Oh my god, why is that such a powerful image, and yet so cursed at the same time? Alright, let's get into this. <laughs> Konnichiwa! God, golly, you're speaking into my soul, Sakurai. Sora Limited is a company I created and do business. Why are you explaining this? Yes, I know you're from. I don't employ an, any staff and I'm not hiring. Just. <laughs> yes, this is a business that I own myself. I'm not hiring, so don't ask. I'd like to introduce the seventh character is Steve and Alex. I mean, I don't think anybody ever brings her up, but yeah, she is here. In mid-August, uh, mid strongly affected by the coronavirus, and we'll be able to stay indoors. It actually wasn't that long ago, it was just last month. Because it was like, <laughs> just like, Byleth, were, or like Terry, where that shit was like announced three months in advance. <laughs> he made that shit three months in advance, and it came out like way later. Confirmed cases in Japan in a few months ago. Damn, for the future generation, people will be like, what was going on? Right. Once again at his house. Look at all those little Minecraft blocks. He's, I bet he's gonna use them as an example, yeah? Just me. No staff. No one to laugh at my joke. <laughs> I'll laugh at your jokes, man. I'm. It's lonely. Hey. I know your. I know how it feels. In fact, actually, where's my phone so I could actually look at the chat? Nobody laughs at my jokes either. I'm really alone. It's just how it be. It really how it be. Even when. Even when. Even when. <laughs> people are watching like right now they're all lurkers they don't say things <laughs> they just chill also apologies to some of our overseas viewers but today's presentations will be subtitled I mean the last one was and you didn't say anything <laughs> about that yeah. able to play test with other people very often battle with staff day at lunchtime <laughs> that's how y'all chill out the, so they're working while they're eating, but it's, it's fun though. And it can be used in non-public online battles. However, it's still not enough. With remote development being challenging as it is, there may be some significant differences. In other words, this character about to be busted. <laughs> this man can't balance shit. <laughs> like, I don't, I, I can't see whether or not what I'm doing is obnoxious to other people. So, uh, this character gonna be broken. Oh, well, there'll probably be a bigger difference because he hasn't balanced everything out. I don't expect to see him to come out today, honestly. I feel like people would have been talking about it more. Camera we're using is different than the... Okay, so we have multiple angles. Choing! Oh, eh. There it is. Eh. I was a little bit off in my timing. Toys are on a tier? That's song kind of going in. But at a glance, he looks like he does in the original game. Wait, this is a new model? <laughs> We made some minor adjustments. Okay, so it's like small things. Elbows and knees don't bend. He's rectangular. That man, a whole ass. <laughs> Even his walk is from the original game. That man just <laughs> barely animates. He tilts his head up and down. That's actually pretty funny. Eh. That's how we know he's tilting. He eats a steak. Like I figured. He is infinite. I figured it was taunts, you know. <laughs> I'd like to play Minecraft today. <laughs> it's, a, it's a, hello, I'm starting my video. <laughs> he doesn't jump very high. Okay, he's got a low jump height. Oh no. Oh no. He got a worse jump than... 
than Little Mac? Oh my god. <laughs> this character's trash, never mind. Then again, he might be a short hop monster. Okay, okay, so his double jump is high. Oh, and he can jump on blocks, that's true. Eh, that makes sense. He could just build blocks and climb up them. What the hell is that guy wearing? <laughs> Are those pants? Bro, that's ugly. Why would you play as those characters? Just play as my guy. My guy, Steve. Alex. Alright. He's another character from the original game, if you can call it that. Oh, POC. Alex is the one we want. That's what we got a black woman in, in Smash. Finally. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, zombie. It doesn't burn in sight and light. But what about Skeleton, man? I want to play as a Skeleton, man. You got the Andrew Block. He's right there. I want to play as him. I want to play as the damn Skeleton, bro. Enderman. Uh, Enderman is going to be a second. Our other POC characters. It's very cute. Just don't look at his eyes. Another way of starting. <laughs> Could you imagine? Regular moves. All right, all right. Specials. Okay, he got the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Look man, my last thumbnail <laughs> It has some truth to it You can see it on this channel too I actually used it for both For once <laughs> He a sword fighter boy <laughs> People were excited for this character And they didn't even realize It was an anime sword fighter the whole time Just with less detail Look at that sword attack bro I feel like he could switch out his weapons though right? Depending on what he has or maybe it just goes away on its own. Oh, he can he can attack while moving like a Mega Man. That's interesting. Well, that's he's carrying him off the screen. You probably I'm about to say or Min Min. It's also limited range too, so it's like <laughs> not that bad. It's like a small disjoint. Side smash, this swing. Is yeah yeah yeah. It's uh, the charge up attack, right? It's when you have when you have to like have it fully charged and then you attack. Oh, that's strong actually. It's pretty fast, honestly. I think that's a good move. Like it seems fast and strong. Okay, he can he can grab ledges even though he doesn't have fingers. Then again, he can grab a sword even though he doesn't have fingers. So you know. Oh my God, he just planks when he lands. Axe. It's an over. Okay, it's his up tilt. This is the axe. Makes sense. Oh, you can even you can cut up you can you can cut the trees and then it breaks and you can punch the trees. I assume you have to craft these things for them to be useful, like you have to upgrade your stuff by mining, right? Okay, you can also use it up as an up air. That actually looks pretty decent. I'm not sure about his frame data, but that looks pretty decent. Seems like a good juggling tool. Like a dash attack and like specials, I would say. And forward air, huh? And back air. <laughs> Characters. Frame data looks good though, I'll give you that. Because everything is <laughs> like three frames of animation. Okay, okay, so a pickaxe is for like kills. Kind of like Byleth, you know? <laughs> Weird comparison, I know. But I told you, anime sword fighter. He's, he's, he's a Fire Emblem character, bro. Oh. Oh, that's a. Oh! Oh, that's, that's busted. Got a meteor effect. That's too fast to be a meteor of that strength. I mean, it doesn't actually look that strong. He's probably high percent, but still. I mean, his down throw is dropping anvils on people. Back air has launch power and knockback power, but why wouldn't you just spike them? That's the real question. I mean, Mario's forward air is way stronger, but it's also it's nowhere near as fast. Wait, what is he saying? If you jump while swinging the sword, you end up doing the sword attack. Okay, okay, so it just depends on what you have out at the time. Oh, that's interesting. So you could spike with that, but then you swing with normal. You can craft the strength in each tool, makes sense. So you have to have stuff, right? And then you get stronger stuff. It's kind of hard to tell between sword, stone and thing, but you know, you'll explain later. Limited durability and use it against Link. I see what you did there. Yeah, ironically enough, Link does not have that mechanic. Incredibly weak and low range. Yeah, this is gonna be very. I feel like this is this part, especially mining down on the ground, since since this isn't based on like the Minecraft level. You know, if it was on the Minecraft level, then you know like certain locations give you certain things. But here, it just seems random. In which case, you're kind of at the most of your RNG of what how your weapons are gonna be good or, or bad. You know. <laughs> See, you're using axe and pickaxe. 
Okay, so your sword is what you have to upgrade, but the other things still work the way, same way. Use the basic tools, like uh, the fishing rod thing we saw. Mm. You can set a fire. Mm. It's like PK fire, okay, okay. That seems <laughs> like a nightmare. But it doesn't have a lot of range, that's the only thing. Like, PK fire shoots like, like this. Like from here to here. Meanwhile, this is like right in front of you. It's not even as good as like, say, Simon's or something like that. But it can clash with projectiles, that's pretty decent. And it's probably very good for edge guarding, yeah. Especially with his forward air, you just do that and then run off and hit him. A magma, magma block for an up smash? Mm. I wonder how that works. It's like you land on it and then you can... That's interesting. Oh, it keeps them in place and then you hit them again. It doesn't seem very strong, but like... It denies space, which is interesting. And if you get hit, it... Okay, it drops. It denies space and it's also an up smash that's placed and then you wait. Like, you know? Like, you might be able to move. Like, you, you can wait for when you want to finish it off, right? Yeah. It's a great space denial tool. Yeah, because he locks them down. Mm. The lava bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these high quality animations. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, when you really think about it, like if you were playing Minecraft, right, you gotta have them quick fingers to switch between. You'd be like, banks. <laughs> To hit the, 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 the click, scroll, turn, quick, <laughs> click. This man, this is a high level Steve player. <laughs> it's effective against Little Mac who's poor at recovery. Yeah, probably two frames like a mofo. And it, it's launch angle is also really, oof. <laughs> That's tough. Loga, the different. <laughs> Magma, yoga. Where stuff in, in lava as it comes out on the surface. Oh, I see. Refer to two different things outside of Japan. Huh. Interesting. But they're considered the same in Japan. I mean, luckily, it's not what people thought it was going to be, where, like, the, the, the lava falls off the edge like it does in Minecraft. Oh, uh, the way it sounds like yoga, that's probably the reason why uh, Dalsum's thing is called Yoga Flame, because... You create, it's yoga, it's a pun. It's yoga, it's lava. So yoga, flame, is, he's, he's shooting fire out. Iron, okay, it's like a dropping attack. Like, so, it's also like his throw. Oh, but he could jump off, too. So it's not like a committal move. Yeah, okay, so you could drop it down and then jump out of it. That's pretty useful. Problem is, is jump, okay, okay. Oh, that's his grab. Oh, okay. I thought that was, his, like... You're thrown inside a fence. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Use the piston. Yeah. It's low. Throw goes up. Okay. So it has a low launch angle. Uh, that's pretty brutal. It does con consume iron, so if you don't have any, this it's just a simple push to the ground. Oh, I see. It doesn't do as much damage. I think the logic is pretty much the same, actually. Mining and crafting are essential. <laughs> I'll be using Alex. Differently depending... Okay, so it's a neutral thing. So in air, it does one thing. And is there just... Is there just a crafting table in the stage at some place? Okay, so you go to the table and you press B to create something, right? And then it crafts your, your weapon. And in the air, that's where you place down your stuff. There's a lot going on here? Okay. <laughs> Okay. And they're probably random, right? Or just depending on where you are at the stage, which is, of course, still somewhat random. What did he say? <laughs> you can get really good materials, so it's important to just di try digging when you have time to spare. Okay, right. Eh. Changes depending on the air area. Ah, I see. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Damn, this is a lot of extra work just to figure out things like this. Also mine walls. Okay, okay. Good to know. So if a stage got walls, you can hit that. The speed at which you dig and the materials are most likely appear differ depending on the kind of area you are. So dirt floors give you crappier stuff, but it's a little bit faster. Wood's a little bit fat. Okay. That's actually crazy that they take into account all of these things. Because, they again, they have to rework literally every stage to be able to do that. That's actually wild. That said, certain stages are literally going to be better, right? 
in lots of wood. I see. Wow, your matchup is gonna be crazy. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Does that mean that the people when they pick their omega form and their the battlefield form are gonna have totally different matchup? <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, <laughs> Minecraft team is about to be busted on like omega form, <laughs> friggin' uh, Corneria, bro. But then he's gonna be trash on like. I don't know, like, what's a good example for just, like, a, a dirt stage? Like, Gower Plains? That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. Yo, that stage matchup is gonna be crazy. It's like Geomancer and- Oh my god, that's an old reference, man! Geomancers do do that. As for places that don't have word of stone, I see a lot of sand being dug up. Oh, sand blocks, I see. A couple of grade ones, treat them as miscellaneous. So they're trash, in other words, got you. Another note when I said the materials differ depending on the stage. Can we even see like the kind of stuff? One other makes you wonder for. Yeah, I was about to say. So are they random? Okay, okay. So they they made it generalized across all of these. So it's just right. Makes sense. This character benefits more. So it's counter pick potential for this character is out the roof, right? Because Pokemon Stadium is probably going to be a lot better for mining uh, metal. And say, or like Kalos, for example, then say Yoshi Story, you know? So you're gonna wanna pick certain stages if you want specific benefits, right? Because you'll get these more often. But then again, there's also neutral stages like uh, Battlefield, Final Destination, where you always just get the same, you always get the same shit, or at least a, a certain weight for it, for everything. It's still all random, I might add. <laughs> this character has a lot of praying to do. Right. So like if you really wanna get the. Yeah, that's also a thing to keep in mind. Like, do you want to get materials quickly, or do you want to make get materials that are strong? I, it depends on how well this is balanced out, of course. But we obviously aren't seeing it the same way, since this is, like, very... I wouldn't say pre-alpha, but, you know. It's early in, before it's the it's been balanced out fully. So it's possible that the time will take will be increased or decreased, depending. The strength of the things that you get will be increased and decreased, depending. That kind of stuff. Yeah. So those other ones are kind of... Easy to break. Ah, and then you start discarding after you get to a certain point, so you have to start building stuff. That's wasteful. It's better to use the materials that you have. Is it for making tools and the materials you have? So if you're near the thing, you can. So bees the mine, right? And then you can build things with it. How is Kirby gonna interact with this character? That's gonna be mad interesting. Is he gonna get a sword? Like, I, I would have to assume, like, he gets the materials, he can craft a weapon, and then his B becomes whatever their A would be, right? He gets the sword swipe. Or something like that. Always appear by your start point. Right, right, okay. So you have to go back to this specific area every time. That actually is a lot like Minecraft. And I assume you always make the optimal one, right? You're gonna store its durability if you have it, so you can go and fix it. It does remind me of, like, survival mode, you know? Will be crafted from the materials you have. Iron and gold, even though gold is actually weaker than iron in in uh, Minecraft, but obviously didn't want to do that there. And Diamondo! <laughs> of course, the diamond sword is the most powerful. You definitely want that one. But the sword, axe, and pickaxe, shovel all get crafted at the same time. What a bargain! <laughs> oh, that's actually awesome. So if you get this, all of your things get increased. Oh! Oh! That was powerful! What a multi-tool! Axe is used for mining as well as attacking, so it's super convenient whenever you use one. They really gave him one of these. When I want to power up your tools, it's important to dig up diamonds in order to craft all these kinds of weapons. Okay, okay, I see. Huh, it's interesting. A fragile, low power, they speed up your attack. Ah, okay. So they, they are on a strong, right? But they're faster, way faster than say like wood and stuff. That okay, that has a benefit. It's not just just at random. So you keep digging, you eventually get diamonds. So it's about time, right? But you get a higher weight depending on which is which. You can break the crafting table, and then you could probably move it somewhere else. Okay. So your enemies can destroy your crafting table. So you gotta control your space better. Oh yeah, because you can just protect the... Oh, you can... Oh, okay, okay. You can summon the crafting table wherever you are if you do shield and B. Kind of like the, the Inklings with their recharge. 
got you. So it's pointless to try and camping out in front of a crafting table. Yeah, okay, okay. So you can't just camp the crafting table. Your best attack is to just attack someone. Did he just use the term camp? <laughs> it, it, it took me a second for me to <laughs> the <to> process <laughs> that he just used the term camping. <laughs> I gotta be stationary while doing it. So if you, so if the enemy knows, like, for example, that Dark Samus knew that uh, Alex needs to craft something or Steve, the the. The Minecraft player is trying to craft something, right? And they're camping the thing, right? They know they're gonna press shield and do the the summon, right? So then you could just run over and grab them. Like they, that could be like a, a bait. I never noticed that the craft <laughs> the crafting table is supposed to have a saw on the side. <laughs> it's just like a flat texture. You can also use the crafting table with somebody else's summoned. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that doesn't surprise me. It's a little weird. Maybe a little bit. Create the block. Press the special move when in the air. You'll create a block to b directly below you, yeah? Okay, that makes sense. So, okay, you use the cheapest material here. Meanwhile, you use the best one for crafting. Got you. And when you hold it, you'll just continue making blocks as you move. I see. Huh. Thank of programmers in particular? Yeah, bro, that sounds like it's be insane to try and work out. Every single stage, yeah? And if you're on it, it breaks even faster. And <laughs> you can break it like a Mario block. Attacks and those of your opponents will break the blocks. Like the, the the jump man himself. Yeah, you could like trap your enemy. Ow! Oh! That's actually... Bo, vertical recovery busted. Busted. This character ain't dying at all. You can also use it to block projectiles. <laughs> if you want to show off, I guess. But what if they... Uh, oh! Oh! That's OD. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And you can probably block the, the ledge that way too. Hi yeah, take that. Uh, oh my yo! This edge guarding capabilities are actually really high, even though his jump is not very good. Wow, that's actually really creative. Oh, so this remix kinda going off. Mm. Yeah, you can't get like right up in the in the blast zone and fuck people up. So that's like the borders of the world in a way. It's still pretty high though. It's like near the top blast zone. I'm pretty far off. It also means that if you're really far off stage with this character, you're basically stuck to your regular recovery. Iron is wasteful. These are irons. Boy, what a waste. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, there it is. A gauge. Well, this depends on how much stuff you've collected by ratio. And gold and, and diamond, I'm going to assume, are just like, you get one of them, right? Because you instantaneously craft everything, right? And the gauge won't increase. I see. So it's it's filling up by, okay, yeah, by ratio. I see what he means. He's It's filling up a certain amount by how much, yeah, okay, by how much you have of it. And then there's a maximum amount and it'll cap out, right? So if you got a majority iron, then you have a majority iron on the meter, right? I see. And it just adjusts depending on how much of each you have. And it'll start at the lowest amount and it'll reach up to the higher amount. So you can sort of kind of actively see how much is being used of anything at any given time. I see. That's actually pretty interesting. Ah, I see. And then, like, yeah, using that for that makes sense. Okay. Okay, so you need four iron, at least, to craft a thing. Unlike the diamond and gold, which are... So you can't make a block out of those, but you can also just craft a tool straight directly from that. Hmm. Okay. Diamond seems hard. But that isn't shown in game. <laughs> Mining, crafting, and block creation probably has to do with the side B, yeah? This minecart. Yeah, I, I saw a bit of this. But you need wood and, and uh, iron to make it. I see. People can get trapped in it too, from what we saw. You jump out of the minecart at any time. Okay. Isn't good for climbing hills either. Special rails called powered rails? Word? You can make those too? Yeah. Is that you have to do a smash? Oh, you have gold and redstone. You can place these at any time. I see. Damn, this is a complicated ass character. I figured as much. It hits harder as too. And it's, yeah, okay. Mm. Harder to deal with. 
Yeah, it's like a command grab too. That's interesting. Cause like th that way you don't really have a lot of you don't have to use a lot of uh, mine stuff in order to make use of it. Yeah. Cause you can just trap them there and then yeah okay. That's interesting. Ah. <laughs> That's gonna be a really another grimy ass edge guard. That's mm. okay okay okay. It's like uh the. It's like the uh, the glide and oh my god, that's kind of busted. It also seems like it has a bit of a startup though, you know. But it's a very large recovery. This stuff is this looks nasty because it, it's it's like gliding from a ball. And it it seems like it's a little weaker if you try to recover. Like his vertical recovery looks like really really broken, but his horizontal one doesn't look nearly as good. Actually, his horizontal one is broken. Right. That said, I don't think it's going to be very easy to aim for the ledge. Way to fly on a trajectory. Yeah, right. Try to get the ledge. Okay, okay. So early in it, it has a hitbox, but later on it doesn't. But be careful in doing so. You can't hover when it at all when it ends. Yeah, so don't do it to go off stage. Because you can't place blocks or anything. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, okay, so you can, you can change at the last second. Okay. Got you. Makes sense. Mm. Right. No materials necessary. Fall off on its own after some time, so you can't just fly from one side to the other. It is basically gliding from, from ball, though. But they don't have another recovery attached to it. So down B is TNT. Okay, dirt and stone is what you need to make it. Yeah. So you have to hit it to, tr to trigger it. Unless, oh my god. <laughs> so it's like a explosive crate. Yeah, you gotta get clear of it. Right. So if you have more materials, you could just press down B and hold and it'll create a, a trail. If you have red stone. Right, and the pressure plate will do it. Wait, how do you choose though? Right. Ah, I see. I guess it's like whenever you let go, right? You press it, you hold, then you let go, and then the pressure plate will come out. That's really strong. <laughs> I did a whole slowdown. It only does that for like really, really strong attacks. I mean, that might be a good way of getting rid of it, though. Yeah, something like this, and then bang. Probably <laughs> might put enough pressure on your opponent. Shut, shut up, Sakurai, all right? Mmm. <laughs> I like that. So even if you don't have the thing. Trap Boom, or House of Boom in English. <laughs> this final smash is literally this meme. Let me go find it real quick. <laughs> We're playing to the Academy's Minecraft server. <laughs> Edelgard keeps putting TNT inside her house and... Blowing it up. It's been half an hour since the flame hasn't stopped screaming. Please find Edelgard for me and talk her out of doing this. Fucking Edelgard, bro. <laughs> it's Edelgard. I have something to ask of you. <laughs> yeah, you get the, the big-ass piston, right? And then the whole house blows up. And then they... And then they they eat on you to exert dominance. Oh, the other... Okay, the piston launches the others flying, but only one person gets trap wound. Got you. Roll. He brings out the shield. Ah. You play cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. God tier. God tier. <laughs> Man gets a whole ass bed. This character has a lot of personality, I, despite limited animation and whatnot. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Imagine hitting somebody with snooze and they get a whole like, a, a whole ass bed. <laughs> man, what? That man said. <laughs> it's oh, like sleep. The sleep. The status effect in Smash has always been funny, but this is especially funny. 
gets a whole bed. It's, he's not even, his eyes aren't even closed. Man, <laughs> I hope that whole thing's a hitbox too. <laughs> even moves the bed. Ah! Is it Cube Kirby like I've been hearing about? Yes! 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 <laughs> yes! Cube Kirby, boys! I bet it's just literally his, his, his boxes. <laughs> it's literally just a. <laughs> Kirby. Edgy Kirby. Yeah, that's a bad joke. I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> I don't think there are any. Oh, many other Minecraft tie-ins that bring so many details together for me. I, I know, right? That's a really complicated character. <laughs> Plus, we don't have to flex on all the other Minecraft tie-ins. Ah, uh, new stage. Minecraft world. Out of the... <laughs> Hopefully, it's not just one massive stage. I, I think it's just, like, random, you know? Looks like it's random. Yeah, I was about to say. I feel like playing this character on the stage is, like, optimal. Not optimal, like, play-wise, but just in terms of fun. Villagers walk around. I was like, villagers. I don't see villagers. Oh, right. <laughs> I was I was thinking Smash Brothers. Okay, the Animal Crossing <laughs> villager. The monsters come out and they return to their homes, so they have like a behavior. But man, I want to I want to play a skeleton so bad. Hmm. As they should be. <laughs> He's peeking inside the house. Ah. Uh. Yeah, okay, so you can break any of these things. And I assume you can also probably mine them as well, right? And it will do the same thing. That's sad. <laughs> the stage. Can you break the, the walls? <laughs> you can legalize the stage. You just gotta. <laughs> you just gotta stop by destroying every single thing in the, pl on the place. That's a platform, actually. That's crazy. Savanna. <laughs> yes, exactly like the actual trees in real life. <clears throat> Taiga! It's Canada. You can actually get on top of it. Alright. So it's mossy stone. Multiple materials from each block before the break. Snowy tundra, which has a uh, an igloo in the middle. And two platforms on the. Wait a minute! Well, that's the, that looks like a legal stage, my boy. <laughs> I'm joking. But if you, if you did destroy the things, it'd be a flat platform with two. With two uh, Platforms on the side, right? Inu the Inuit in the northern regions of Canada built, yeah, <laughs> they do. We didn't expect him to say Canada. So let's break it. Take that. <laughs> oh, it also breaks the ones in the background too. <laughs> it's look, t just, you can't tell me that ain't a legal stage. It's just that you can't pick them. Piled up in the center, might find water in an unnatural place, like so. In truth, we made it so that you can obtain materials in the same place in every biome. Ah, okay, makes sense. Right, so they're all in the same place, so the stage is consistent. Got you. Except for like the, the, the blocks. Got you. Makes sense. Location of iron. Able to get iron's importance. We made lots of iron come out of this spot right here. Right, because it's an iron block. When uh, we're deposit. Also has an omega form. <laughs> which of course has the same rules. But there is a day and night cycle, so it's it's just here in the, the grassland biome. Got you. Let's see them in action. Uh, an actual combat. Let's go. Is the golem, the skeleton, the creeper? <laughs> I mean, honestly, you could do a lot with the, the Minecraft uh, characters. Oh, coming soon. They have all these here. That's exciting. <laughs> he still hasn't done the, the 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 arms one in this one. That's funny. I fight against a novice, so even with my own, I should be able to win crazy. Oh, he said, <laughs> no spirit. Spirits are for punks. Uh, then we have super armor, but move slowly. Got you. Oh, God. Look at how powerful they are. To protect me at the moment, so let's gather my power, right? Oh, uh, we got the diamonds. So, ah, eh, kill him. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he's he's taking advantage of his positioning. Uh, uh. Look at these zombie hordes. Yeah, get out of here. I'm coming back. Uh, forward smash. Uh. No, wait, lava. <laughs> he's like, uh. <laughs> Forgive me. Even without spirits, I could beat this pathetic enemy. Uh, get out of here. 
The super armor is pretty. Oh, that's a bad idea. One, one, Sakurai, one. Okay. Should I do about the TNT? No. <laughs> what should I do? Just leave it. Let it blow up on its own. It's wild though that you gotta remember that you're gonna be wasting materials. I wonder how much like the economy of this character is. This is like a Banjo Kazooie but on a higher level. Ah. Will they show off co the collaboration? I'm gonna play against the slime next. I didn't even know slimes were a thing. <laughs> I am cold over way more, Mike. Wait, what was that? <laughs> My posture is awful. Oh, it's Kyo. <laughs> it's like it's off. That it looks familiar. I don't think I've actually done the spirits for uh, a lot of these previous ones. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't think I actually ever played the game while, while slimes were a thing. These enemies all have health bars. Huh. I wonder what, like, the, uh. What the, uh. Oh my god. There's more. Oh, I see. It's split. I get you. I wonder what the, uh. The classic mode one's gonna be like. And actually, when this character's gonna come out. <laughs> Cause I feel like I kinda already get the, the gist, right? Thanks for stopping by, by the way. Very much appreciated. And then they get smaller again, I see. Well, I guess this is an option if you're between two walls, but I don't think that it's gonna be common to play a lot. This character seems the best edge guard in the game. Definitely has really good edge guarding. I wouldn't necessarily say the best, cause like, it takes a lot of setup, you know? It does have a lot of, they seem to have a lot of two frames and stuff like that, which really do help. Very good edge guarding. Has, what I would say the best point about it is that they have a lot of options. Like a lot of other characters uh, have like simple things. Uh, <laughs> but they can choose from a number of different options to use in this situation, right? I could use the TNT, the lava, I could use the minecart, I could do a number of different things or like put up blocks. Features a wide variety of tracks. Damn, this song is going in. <laughs> the hell? Unfortunately, we weren't able to include music from the original game, probably because it's super duper copyrighted. Or maybe it's just because, you know. Yeah. Mm. I don't really think it's, that it's copyrighted. It's just, you know, it's a lot of really relaxing themes. So they decided tracks from spin offs and mini games, looking in the context for the fighting game, some mind task dungeons, a bunch of stuff. Hallard, Delana, Earth, Clock Tower. Clockwork Crafter, Toys of a Tear, all these are remixes. Seven is kind of low, but all of these are remixes. That's pretty decent. Character looks very complex, but still very good. I, I'm, I'm interested. The Mii Fighter costumes, well, I already know with this, with this one of these ones. Oh, he stocked them up in a different way now. Hey, we're talking about Minecraft. We added several costumes from this game. Okay. Do we get skeleton for the Mii Sword Fighter at least? Please? Come on, man. Or the gunner? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is it? Oh my god! Why was that so intimidating? Look at this presence! Yeah! yeah. Look at this chaotic creature. The pig? Let's go! Oh. Yo, Baller getting some love today. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh. The diamond armor. <laughs> Just on the regular ass sword fighter, that's actually hilarious how many we've gotten. I didn't see any of this. Tower of Dragua? What the hell is this? Gil from. I've never heard of this game at all, actually. But no skeleton. Bomberman? Oh, you hate to see it, man. Oh, you hate. To... Oh, that's really good, too, though. Man, that's sad. <laughs> and he has different colors. Oh my god, this is broken. Feels bad, man. Ah! Da, da, na, 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 na. Ugh, you hate to see it, Travis. What have they done to you? I mean, it actually looks pretty good, actually. I might buy that. If it, if it comes with music, too. Man. <laughs> Feels bad. Rest in peace to Travis and Bomberman, boys. <laughs> you hate to see it. It's just unfortunate. <laughs> but hey, at least they're in the game, I guess, you know? Man, they don't even come with music. That's just... It's he's already a, to be fair, Bomb Man was already a cis trophy, so it was very unlikely he was gonna come in anyways. But Travis, they didn't have to do him like that. Also, I gotta love how they said from 
<laughs> Smash Brothers X Travis, not X. <laughs> Uh, no more heroes or anything, you know, just Travis. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the costumes are pretty cool. Of course, we already know about the sexy Joker and a hero one. I still need to get that Joker one. They're available now? Okay, good. Actually, I know that. They came out like a week ago or something. We're gonna get a player two for a hero where you get the other costume. The next would be Bango. He's, he's behind the thing. Oh! Oh, it's behind him. Yes, it's Bango Kazui. Oh, it comes with a <laughs> and they you look again with the nice, sexy support in the case of this uh, the the jiggy, right? Using the jiggy as a support from the stand-up on. That's smart. That makes sense. <laughs> ah, that's a nice amiibo. Rare prototype was sent into my home. Man, privilege, bro. I have an official 3D model being made by Nintendo. That should have been how it was supposed to be. And of course we have one more, most likely. Is it my guy Byleth? Actually, no, Terry! Oh, no, it was Byleth! The hell? Oh, Sensei Byleth. Uh, Banjo is ugly. Yeah, well. <laughs> Look, man. He's always been... He's a bear, man. I don't know. His teeth is what... It's just the, it's just the teeth. It's throwing it off. No, t no, he's right there. Oh, that Terry and me, but I need to get all of these. He's right there. I saw him. Oh, oh, see, his support sound is cool, but his actual, his, his build is so, his quality is so high. That's my guy. That's my guy, Terry Bogard. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> hey, come on, come on. <laughs> Are you okay? He is having problems with his life. He ain't have a game, had a game in like 10 years. 20 maybe even. Like 15? Something like that. At 5 or 6 DLC fighters along with the stages. A lot of music. And for the price of just 2 amiibo. Wait, what? Oh, he's comparing them to the price. Okay, I was like, I was like, huh? You buy the amiibo and you get the DLC character? That would be sick. But they're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, oh my god, the buy left one looks good. It's male buy left too, which means I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Terry looks awesome. Joker's is just broken. <laughs> Banjo's alright, I'm not gonna buy that. Hero, I might, maybe. But like these three, woohoo. Shiny. So when you gonna announce them then? Huh? Give us a date, please? <laughs> All character passes by 2021 December. Let's talk about version 8.1. Which already went out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the small battlefield. It's it's dummy good. It's it's not even fair how much better it is than every other amiibo in existence. The only other amiibos I think you could compare are like the uh, Samus Returns Metroid amiibo because it's like squishy on the top, or like maybe the Guardian amiibo because how big it is. Things like that, like specialty amiibo that are different. But still, Joker's broken. Joker's ridiculous. <laughs> the flames. Hmm. Seems to be the most original character of Smash out of everybody. Yeah, I could say that, just because he has such an in-depth mechanic thing going on with him. But like, in terms of, like, his actual, like, like, normals, I wouldn't agree. But in terms of, like, a special gimmick, then yeah, I would agree with that. Like, his is pretty, pretty much, it's pretty high up there. I don't really think I can think of anybody else with a, a more unique mechanic. Where it's, like, not, like, really rather simple when you think about it. Uh, granted, I'm not thinking too much into it. The Daruk Amiibo is pretty good, too, you know. We have some good ones. I'll agree that in terms of the special gimmick. In terms of like the normals, probably not. Like the, the forward smashing up areas and all the, those are pretty normal. Pretty average. <laughs> also adjusted the connection environment. Yeah, to make the latency a little bit better. <laughs> as best as you can, right? Still use the ethernet, which I don't even have the, the, the luxury of using. Cause my, first off, my ethernet cable broke, and two, second off, I can't even, there's no ethernet cable near where I can play this game on, on the console. 20 million games total, damn. <laughs> I mean, I knew that, but damn, it really, when you, when he says it like that, it puts into perspective. So i on Banjo, we had a lot of support from Microsoft, also technically with Minecraft, yeah. Mahjong, of course, Mojang technically, right? I keep, I said Mahjong. New brought to you all from my home. This place is still ridiculously nice, by the way, Sakurai. You flexing for no reason. Currently, wait, wait, what is he saying? He's currently experiencing having rain and extreme heat while still experiencing the effects of COVID, right? 
Some places are going to be 40 degrees Celsius. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> it's it's 40 degrees Celsius. I mean, actually, no, this was in August. That makes sense. That makes sense. I was like, <laughs> is it that hot now? No, no, it's October by now. So, like, that, that, I mean, it's probably a lot colder. It's all from Director Sakurai. Uh, see you soon, Sakurai. Hopefully everything's good. At home. Dame da ne, dame yo, dame na no yo. Anta na, suki de, suki suki de. Dore da ke, suyoi o sake de mo. Yuga wa nai, omori de ga, baka mitai.